themselves. They're operating on autopilot. They're reacting to their environment that even when given the opportunity to set a goal for themselves, they generally don't set the right goal right. because they don't know what the fuck they're doing because they don't even know who they are fundamentally. That's the big thing, man. And that's why it was important for me to finally realize, stop being all these fake people I used to be. Stop being afraid. There was no growth until I cut myself down to nothing, to the person I really was, the real human being. And once I found out who I really was, that's when I started growing. I was trying to build on top of a lied, fucked up foundation. You can't build a house on a fucked up foundation. So I had, to, I had to get down to the actual mineral soil of who I was, and that's when you can start real growth. And what is the role that suffering plays in that, or the willingness to suffer? It starts to peel all those layers away, all those artificial layers away. If you're willing to suffer and suffer and go back in the grind, that internal dialogue you have with yourself when you're in misery and you're uncomfortable, it's a real scary unfiltered no lying dialogue between you and yourself and people know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about when you're in a bad spot in life and your mind is saying all kind of shit that's who you really are that's the real you no Rocky Balboa moments going on up there <laughs> yeah. like hey yeah. you know it's around 14 let's come <clears throat> on we got this no it's like fuck this I'm out of here man this is crazy that's where the growth happens when you're able to stay in that moment and talk to yourself, talk yourself back into the suck of wherever you're going through, and you start stripping those layers away, but as you're stripping those layers away, you're building calluses over top of shit in your mind. That's where the growth starts to happen, is when you have to force yourself to stay in it. You can't, you can't leave it. That, uh, yeah, I found it, but what's great about it is I found it, but I can still tap into it. Yeah, Do, is it, was there a moment of thinking like if I if I allow myself to experience joy and gratitude that I'm not going to be able to be as hard that I'm going to lose that edge that distinguishes me? No, that's not it at all. What it was was um, I never felt that my entire life. You're almost taught that shit when, when you're born in a happy home and and you're born around happy shit. It kind of comes out. I never I don't laugh. My dad beat the laughter out of me. When, when you can't read and write and you're trying to hide out in classes and please don't call on me and shit and you're fucking all scared and shit everywhere you go, you're nervous and you're, and, and you're panicked and you're stuttering and you know your whole life is that shit. There's not joy in that shit. That becomes who you are no matter how much you change. You're scarred. So people are like, my God, man, you never smile, you never do this. It's my life. It's my life. So you gotta teach yourself how to read and write and also fucking smile and say it's okay a lot of things aren't like you know man why don't you do this like i don't judge people that's why i don't judge the people man you don't smile look so hard like this read my book and don't forget where i came from it's who you are you have to undo that shit and no one came down and trained me on how to be happy how to find peace how to do this and that that's why i'm so glad i found it through suffering the greater the suffer, the greater the peace I found. But you have to reflect on where you came from, from the dungeon of hell that I came from, I had to reflect on that shit to find final peace and be able to say, wow, motherfucker, if you die in this bed at 40 years old, I'm the happiest motherfucker in the world because I did it. I'm trying to armor their mind. I'm trying to get them the belief because this world we live in is tough. It's tough, it will beat you down. The world and the life that we live in is the ultimate competitor. It will try to take you out. It will it will find your weakness and it will fucking just hammer you. It's like a personal curse. hundred percent. So if I can help you build belief, build confidence to the point where nothing can hurt you because you know exactly who you are. You've faced your demons. You've you've been able to go on an audio book in your mind. Maybe you didn't write a book, but in your mind, you were able to hear all your past traumas. You were able to listen to them. You're able to fucking say, okay, now I can now talk to people about what I went through. I'm no longer embarrassed. I'm no longer ashamed. Being ashamed is one of the biggest things that kill people nowadays. 
in their minds, kill them from moving forward. I'm ashamed of myself. Don't ever be ashamed of anything you've done in your life. Face it, fix it, make it better. We are humans. But then again, if you always think that we're humans, you will always just be a human.